Right, then we come to uh, the Sky Sports, which is what you alluded to earlier. And uh, yeah, Roy Keane, Michael Richards, and uh, more famously almost, Gary Neville. Um, uh, Sky Sports pundit Gary Neville claims the big six should be relegated if they sign up, calling for a project, uh, calling the project an absolute disgrace and a criminal act against fans. Now, one of the important quotes that I took from it was that he was... Uh, I'll quote here, he said, I'm disgusted about Manchester United and Liverpool most. Liverpool, they pretend, oh, you'll never walk alone, and that they're the people's club, the fans' club. And Manchester United, 100 years, born out of workers around here, and they're breaking into a league without competition, without relegation, it's a disgrace. Now, I loved that because, you know, usually you've got Gary, Gary Neville is attacking his own club there you know yeah, he, he it, yeah. you don't you see him attacking Liverpool or whatever that's fair enough but he's saying that those two big clubs which are meant to be uh, Liverpool's case you know the people's club the fans clubs that they call themselves and Manchester United that were born out of workers he was mostly attacking them like did you see any difference between those two clubs and the rest of them I mean let me just go back to what like uh, Gary was saying I think the way that Gary like spoke was like so outraged about United or Liverpool, I think and every other every other fan supporting like the top six club that uh, agreed to join the ESL felt the same way, and like even I was saying I wouldn't mind Arsenal getting relegated so that we can teach the owners a lesson. Yeah, you know, and what what Gary said just resonated with like a lot of fans, especially me. I could remember just constantly rewatching that video, reading the comments, and you know, yeah, but. He was very emotional about it at the time, but yeah, he, he was very determined to make sure that they are punished, to, as, like I've said earlier, to cut it off at the root, to make sure that the owners know that this is actually a diabolical thing they're doing. It is ripping the history of the game. And uh, another person I was talking about where it's like Liverpool, they're very European based you know, re- European conscious, they hold up six fingers and they constantly talk about the history of Europe, uh, of Liverpool yeah. and Europe and that they were going to throw that away for some money. They yeah, were going to throw away the history of that and the th- future of it for money. Yeah. I think the thing about what Gary was saying as well is like, these are two like the biggest club clubs in England. They've won it all, you know. Europe, uh, Liverpool pride themselves on being one of the greats in Europe. If they were to go into the ESL, then that would mean nothing. To the fans, there'd yeah. be no history. There'd be no, yeah. Same with United as well. You know, what is it thirteen Premier Leagues? The oh, hot and then it it wouldn't matter to yeah. those fans anymore. It would. It literally wouldn't matter because I'm pretty sure in the proposal, you know, uh, the clubs had said that they might field weaker teams in the Premier League if the ESL was to go ahead. So yeah, I've got then, that in a quote yeah. coming later. But um, yeah, the, and the reason why we're talking about the Premier League and not just the European competitions is. While the European Super League was in direct competition to the Champions League, um, it was coming out that that FIFA and all the governing bodies were going to be so opposed to it that the clubs would be kicked out of the domestic leagues like the Premier League and therefore not only the history of the European competitions but the history of the uh, domestic competitions was on the line. 